Hello and welcome to this infamous playthrough. I'm just going to play a bit of this today because I'm feeling like I'm going to sell it. Because I've pretty much 100% completed it. So I'll be trading it in for Grand Theft Auto 5, I think. So, having a little blast about on it. Just to say goodbye to it, basically. I mean, it's not a bad looking game, and I've still very colourful the neon and that and the graphics are brilliant for a next gen game so far anyway in the life cycle find somebody with them beat up evil I'm on the evil air level at the minute anyway, so it doesn't matter. There we go. So yeah, just having a blast around on it really, just to get a play out of it. And just to test the new equipment I've got as well, just to see if it works. Some of the lighting though is gorgeous though, you've got to admit. I think the story is quite boring though, to be honest. I mean, over, overall, it's quite a dull game. Adios! Do you pee people? Mm -hmm. I do feel a bit sad about selling it though as well. But this is a very nice looking game. A lot of work went into it. It's a shame about the story being a bit dull really. Bastard's car, stupid neon, down at the bottom of it. Boy, is a shame.
another thing about this game is if you fall into the water and you can't swim, it just puts you back on the shore again, which is a bit stupid. It's like most games, I suppose. It does have very nice particle effects, though. Smoke. Tell you what, let's have a look at the main character closer. If we can. <clears throat> look, Troy Bait is probably not. Before, so I don't know if you can zoom in or not. I think it's good uh, for most games to have this mode, really. Adds a bit of replayability, and it's just something fun to do, really show off the visuals a bit more yeah get off now I'm not sure how no. right anyway get to the top of the building Drop. And then that'll be the end of the video. Oop. Who is this idiot with a guitar? Is he dead? Raise up the building. Hmm? TV ones. Too bad. Alright. Very good. It's not a bad game to come out like, near the start of the generation, but like I said, it is quite dull. And you won't really remember it much after playing it, to be honest. It's worth giving it a go just for the see the visuals and that because it's nice and bright and colourful. That's about it. That's pretty much all I've got going for it, really. misery from watching this shite video. Don't think we killed anybody. Oh well. There we go. That's infamous second son for you. And I'll be selling it soon anyway, so Thanks for watching. Let me go.